Welcome to the channel, new and old viewers. Today, we'll be doing a long-term review of the 2019 Bronson. We are in DuPont Forest with my buddy Seth to test the cornering, agility, and climbing of the Bronson. The S Plus build comes with a Fox 36 fork, Rock Shocks Deluxe rear shock, Code R brakes, 35 millimeter wide rims with 2.6 tires. I've upgraded my rear wheel and both front and rear tires, right. adding Cush Core to the rear Straight as well. Down. Don't let me down. The new linkage is amazing. Running a stiff rear shock allows you to feel very little pedal bob and still take big hits with a medium rebound setup. This may not seem like a steep climb, but it's sandy and slick. The bike is holding traction and I'm keeping up with Seth. Oh, Good morning. Good morning. Come from there, you go up here, you yank, and then you gotta catch the backside of this rock and roll out. I've seen somebody rock roll and drop the flat here. Like. So he's gonna ride up through this, which is wild. But like, you see this opening here? <laughs> Dude, you made it. You made it. Threw out my back wheel. That was not smooth. But yeah, yeah. You smashed into this, into that knuckle right there. So like, that was like, that was a cush core move there. I didn't, I didn't ding my rim though. It was just a hard hit. Uh, I've definitely ridden this trail before, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna have any like amazing lines or anything like that. I think you're gonna be going super fast, having a good time. Let's hop on the trail and see if we can keep up with the hack himself. Don't touch the brakes. That was nice. So is the Bronson playful even on a not aggressive trail? I would say so. I feel like the Bronson allows you to take on anything really. From basic trails like this, this is a flow trail. What I do is I go ahead and step up my tire pressure to 35 PSI and it seems to work just fine as far as it uh, stiffening up the feel of the bike on the trail. I know that the Bronson can handle all kinds of park life. I've been there, we all seen the Bronson do all that stuff. But the biggest complaint that I get or question is like, oh, is it too big for the trail? Oh, I don't want to push the bike up the hill. Oh, I, uh, it's too heavy or it's too relaxed or it's too, uh, the geometry is too relaxed. And well, it does everything for me. I've climbed all the climbs in Pisgah on it. I've done all the descents on it. I've ridden in Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, Whoa. South Carolina, Florida. So I have done it all. So I do think it's a do all bike. Whoop, 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 right turn. You're a good ripper, man. Yeah. You were. So it's my turn to get out front and let this bike blaze the trail to the bottom for us. One of the things on the bike that I do feel like is lacking is definitely going to be, I have some gear slippage and everybody tells me it's the long cage derailleur. That's the issue. Um, I think every bike I've ever owned has really had some issues with shifting from me not shifting properly or stepping on a heavy gear, or shifting while I'm going uphill. Right now it looks like it's gonna be a cassette issue, but it seems like every time I go to a shop, everybody's got the idea of, oh, just buy this or just replace this or buy this upgrade and it'll make it better. And, after a few rides, I continue to have shifting problems no matter what I do. So I just kind of deal with it. Um, is the Bronson nimble enough to take on flow trails and toss it around? I think so. I think the Bronson being a 27.5 allows you to be more nimble with the bike where maybe it's a little bit larger of a bike for basic trails, but with the 27.5 allows you to throw it around and be really playful. So I really enjoy that part of the Bronson that I can take it everywhere and do everything. I've done dirt jumps on it. I've done doubles. I've done downhill courses on it. I've done park runs on it. I've done greenways on it. I've done multi-perfect pass on it. So I'm a pretty firm believer that the Bronson is a good all around bike for everything. If you want to have one bike, I think a trail bike is the way to go. 
because you can go anywhere on it. You can go anywhere that shows up, you can go do riding with them and the bike will take care of it. Because you don't want to be undergunned is what I'm always worried about. I don't want to go to go do something and my bike can't handle it because I don't have enough suspension or the bike just isn't aggressive enough for me to do that without crashing or like really getting hurt or really rolling the dice. So what I have is an S plus build. The S plus build means that you have a wider set of rims from 30 millimeter to 35 and the tires you get stock are going to be 2.6s versus 2.5s, which is the exact type of riding that I want to do. I want a wider rim for better track pattern on the tire out of the ground. Um, I also want a bigger tire so that I have more traction on there. Um, a little bit of, I consider a little bit of suspension because it's give and take when the tire's that big. So the combination just makes sense. It's the exact same price as getting a plus build versus not plus build, but then you get the wider rims, which all the aftermarket stuff is going to. Every part of cycling is going to a wider rim. So anybody that's looking to buy a Santa Cruz, make sure you buy a plus size uh, build and gives you the wider rims off the start. I hope this video gave you some insight about what the Bronson can do as far as it being an all around bike that can do just about everything. And it's a safe bet for getting a bike that can do everything if you're looking to do a full spectrum of mountain biking. If you're not looking to go to park or ride big features or attempt 20 foot jumps, maybe the Bronson isn't the best idea for you. Maybe like the 5010 or something that's more XC related. But I also think that the 5010 is something you could probably run and I'd probably push limits, but that's only 130 millimeters of travel, which can get you in trouble real fast depending on how fast you're going over some features. After having this bike for almost a year, going to every park in the southeast, this bike has held up super well. I've also had to replace the cranks, the chain, the derailleur, but I also crash a lot. My next step is going to have to be getting this cassette changed. What cassette do you use? What do you recommend? I'm pretty cheap, so I'm probably trying to find a deal, whatever's on sale. Would you consider the Bronson a do-all bike? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for checking out my review. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Appreciate what you guys do. And thank you to all my subscribers here on YouTube. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like the content, I'll try to get more and more stuff out for you guys. And last but not least, pedal a little harder and don't touch the brakes.